Welcome to the Radio Silly Video Report. Subscribe at youtube.com slash Radio Silly to be alerted when we upload new video reports. The Video Report in association with Calm Veen Tea Rooms. There's a treat waiting for you on your walk around St Mary's. Spoil yourself at Carnveen Cafe with a break for morning coffee, lunch or afternoon tea, inside or in a large garden close to Pellistry Beach. Try our large selection of fresh cakes and delicious cream teas. We have a large range of sandwiches, toasted sandwiches and jacket potatoes. Or pick up one of our proper Cornish steak pasties. Anne and Frank are waiting to welcome you every day from 10 until 5 at Carnveen Cafe and Tea Garden. Councillors and contractors have signed the contract for the £13 million new school build for St Mary's. The work will start after the gig weekend. Work is already underway, though, in clearing the site, with a team from Seaways Flower Farm removing eight tonnes of bulbs in the soil, so work on the site can commence. But some islanders are unhappy that trees have been removed as part of the building. An old orchard set to be a centrepiece of the Five Island School building has been chopped down and removed. School head teacher Bryce Wilby says the trees had to go, sadly, for safety reasons. Well, unfortunately, when the experts came over to look at the trees, um, basically for health and safety reasons, they, they weren't able to remain in the middle of the school. Uh, they were very old, uh, a bit rotten in parts, and they just weren't able to be sustainable so that the pupils would be, would be safe in amongst them. So we had to take that quite tough decision that they all should have to be removed and then replanted by the pupils again when the school's ready. Bryce says the courtyard and the orchard is an important part of the plan, and there will be more trees planted and local ones at that. I think they've been here a long time and we're quite keen to replace them with, with silly pearls so we have like local apple trees there. Uh, but we've done quite a lot of tree planting with the pupils here so we're quite keen to, to carry that tradition on and then decide what to plant, how and where and then plant it up ready before we open. He's been on the islands for five years as harbour master for the Duchy of Cornwall on St Mary's and during his time Glenn Cavell has brought a number of changes to the island's marine operations including the introduction of the floating pontoon at St Mary's Quay, hailed a success. One of his roles has been to oversee the major key redevelopments that the Duchy has introduced for the off-islands over the last few years. Glenn says he's learned a great deal about Scilly but came originally to the islands with relatively little knowledge of the place. Very, very, very remotely. Um... My, pre, my previous job before coming here was I was captain on a large ocean-going tug and for part of the time we were the Coast Guard salvage tug for the area. So I anchored off the islands a few times, never came ashore because uh, we were always on short-term call-out, um, but had a, a basic layout, layout of the islands, but uh, don't think I know it as well as I do now. Glenn says he soon realised that the heart of St Mary's life is the key. Then when a cruise ship comes in the first time, or not even the first time now, as each successful one comes in, they're great days. Or just seeing the way the quay operates on a, on a sunny day, when you may have a thousand people coming down the quay to get on the off-island tripper boats, the Salonian bringing in 600 people, um, the leisure users, the yachts. It, it never fails to amaze. You, know, you look out the window and can't believe that all these things can happen in such a small space. Glenn will be based in Kent and is going to take a more hands-on role working with tug operations. He says he's made some good friends here and he'll be leaving a lot of firm friendships behind and also great experiences with the Duchy of Cornwall in his role at the Harbour Master's office. Glenn says Scilly is a very special place. It's been a hard decision to go. Um, it's sort of not a case of wanting to go necessarily. I'm going to miss a lot of things. There's some great people here. The, the looking round, there's not a place in, in Europe or the world maybe like this. Um, you've got crystal clear blue waters and you're a few miles from the English and Cornish coast. Um, I'm going to miss loads of things. Great people, great people I work with, beautiful scenery and just a special, special way of life. But um, time to move on. Our island's passion for choral music is set to gain a new following on the mainland as another island singing group announces performances. We already know of the popularity of the male group Vocal Zone and the 70-strong female choir The Silly Sirens. Now, a new group is set to sing at the International Sea Shanty Festival in Falmouth in June. The musical director of Bone Idol is Giles Lethbridge. Well, we're called Bone Idol, but that's a, a, a recent thing, really. Um, we recently had a CD that we've uh, cut, which isn't out yet, but uh, we had to come up with something to put on the front of it. So, yeah, bone idle because we never turn up to anything. <laughs> Giles says it would be great to follow in the footsteps of some men from Port Isaac who secured a seven-figure recording deal. 
I suppose it's really because um, we got friendly with a group called Fisherman's Friends, and I might be name-dropping a bit there um, after recent news events with them, but uh, yeah, we've seen other people do it, and you know, everyone, every man and his dog's got a CD out now, so uh, we thought, well, you know, let's go for it. <laughs> Bone Idol was born out of the old male voice choir, and also some younger islanders interested in singing seafaring and Cornish songs. There's a, a sort of younger lot um, and, and, and some people from the old male voice choir that a lot of people might remember from the 60s and 70s. So we've got Mark Hicks, Derek Shave, Nicky George and myself with the, the younger ones. Um, and then there's Paul Hicks, uh, George Mudge. Um, uh, oh, and that's, that's about it, really. A CD recording of the group is going to be finalised in Falmouth over the next couple of weeks and it'll be available on the islands. We'll play copies on Radio Silly. Giles says he's been busy recently performing at funerals. They're also going to bless a mainland gig over the World Pilot Gigs Championships weekend and after gig weekend sing at a wedding on St Mary's. Well, you know, unfortunately we've done quite a lot of funerals, but um, yeah, people seem to like it for a, for a you know, good authentic funeral. But um, yeah, weddings, funerals, I mean, maybe four or five times a year, but nothing as pre- uh, prestigious as the uh, Falmer Sea Shanty Festival. So you're getting formal bookings then? Yeah. We, we had to ask to be allowed to sing there, but, uh, you know, yeah, we get a free pasty and a pint.